about to brave the cold out. It's like negative 30 something. Holy but Jesus. Yo, it's colder than my heart out here. I don't want to do it. Oh my god, I don't want to do it. I fear for my lungs. I come down here with just like a fleece and a little thermal on like like um, I'm in the safety of my apartment building and I'm warm but um, I gotta go outside and it's like eh. but for all that you know and everybody that does know or whatever I was just trying to say I'm Jennifer I had the gastric bypass in November I'm already down 100 pounds it is now February 1st so <laughs> Um, but anyways, <laughs> feeling pretty good. I got plenty more to go, but personally, I think 100 pounds down in a couple months. Not bad. I live all the way up all those stairs, so I get plenty of exercise. I'm whispering because it's like nine o'clock in the morning and I'm not trying to bother people but I really don't care <laughs> anyways it's cold outside and I can tell now more than when I was 430 pounds when I was 430 pounds I didn't care there was no cold air conditioner 365 no blankets just in there now I'm 100 pounds lighter, and I'm like <laughs> all the time. Oh, my housing or my, my housing, my landlord is coming. Watch this shit. Good morning. Good grief. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a creeper. Waiting. For, I'm a creeper. Yeah, I'm waiting for the kids to get here. <laughs> Come up yes, hey. I couldn't think of anything else better to do today but creep and be nice and open doors for people. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. If I was going to creep, I'd be like looking at people's windows and shit. Oh, God. Nothing. <laughs> All right, you too. Okay. My landlord. Today, I'm having a problem with finding words. My housing worker, when in reality, is my landlord. This is what happens when I'm used to being on housing. And now that I'm living okay, I feel like it's like a mindset thing. Like I'm always gonna feel 430 pounds. I'm always gonna feel like I'm on welfare. I'm always gonna feel like I got housing workers. I'm always gonna feel like I got somebody on my back, you know, like checking on me. And every time I go in the doctor, I'm gonna hear her say like, you're gonna die, which, I mean, I still kind of do, because I'm still pretty big, but, um, pretty much my entire day revolves around chasing my twins that are about to be two, and that's a lot, uh, up and down the millions of stairs, that's a lot, um, met, like, a ton of loads of dishes, a ton of loads of laundry, I vacuum my floor, more times a day than I go to the bathroom. Um, what else? Oh, my diet consists of lemon lime, Gatorade, water, and recently I started drinking uh, Sprite. Um, yeah, sorry, I had to pause it. So I started drinking Sprite. Um, it is the most weird tasting thing. Now I used to be addicted to Sprite. Um, but now I'm like, Nye. so I don't know. Um, the dumping syndrome has subsided for the most part, unless I eat way too much or too much sugar. Um, my diet pretty much consists of tuna fish, um, a small amount of pasta with meat, um, a salad, vegetables, 
and Gatorade is really what my diet is. I eat less than 600 calories a day because any more going into my body is painful. I take my vitamins every day, my calcium citrate every day. I take my semethicone every day. I take my Pepsid every day. Um, I don't know. I'm dealing with a lot of the skin. Um, the skin is kind of irritating because it's like in between my thighs and I walk and it hurts or like right in my armpit area. So I can only imagine what it's going to be like after like 200 pounds of loss, you know? So I want to go to the gym and uh, find a bunch of gym partners and go. So if any of you are out here in Syracuse, New York, and you want to go to the gym and work out with me, let me know because I got about a good 10 minutes of working out in me every day <laughs> um anyways i'm waiting for my kids to get dropped off so we can have some fantastic learning time together aka they're gonna tear my house up and i'm gonna clean it behind them all day <laughs> Negative 30. What the fuck is wrong with this world? Negative 30. Like, I could never live in Alaska. Or not Alaska. What is that? Antarctica or whatever? It's like negative 80. What? Never. I don't even know what it is really in Antarctica, but I'm going to go with something uh, worse than negative 30. I know that. Oh my gosh. Shout out to my friend Margarita Lamberty. So she be testing me for real. She hit me this morning on the book talking about what are you doing? Now, the only time she asks what you doing is when she wants to go eat at the buffet. Now, she is blessed with good genes and she doesn't have to have this surgery. Because she can eat at the buffet, wiggle her butt around and be fine. Then there's me, who eats at the buffet, gets sick, and gains 50 pounds. So, she tested me, but I can't go. Um, but I love her anyways. So she said that she wants to go eat, but I'm busy, and I'm like, yeah, you know, I wake up, and I'm like, damn, I gotta change 9,000 diapers, and you wake up, and you're like, I need crab legs. <laughs> um, I mean, four months ago, i have been like, oh, let's go. <laughs> but... I love her. She's awesome. We've had a lot of good times at the buffet. Good and bad times, but um, someday I'll get there. I just don't think I could eat any Chinese food right now. I think just the smell in there alone would make me sick, but I don't know. Let me know if anybody has anything that they eat or can't eat or whatever that makes them sick or <clears throat> just the smell alone after R&Y is bad for them. Um, okay, well... Talk to me.